So let's let's start with the, the first module, which is the, the oscillator generating the 77.5 kilohertz signal uh, and uh, the, the level shifter. So actually, the part here is the, the oscillator. You can see the little crystal, and below the copper board, there's the the, the NAND uh, circuit. Um, together, it's a it's a Pierce oscillator generating a square wave output signal, and the square wave signal is filtered or converted to a scene wave signal by going through this uh, Jabive low pass filter. You see the little uh, coils here. Um, yeah, it it converts it to a scene wave, which looks pretty nice on the scope, and then. Um, the scene wave signal goes into the, the level shifter here, which actually is a, a, a CMOS switch circuit here, allowing you to change the, the output signal here from 100% to whatever you adjust here. So in, in, in this uh, project, it's uh, 20%. And then the little coil here and the capacitor, it's just a, a low pass filter to uh, protect the the power supply which uh, is connected to, to this pin here. And um, then from, from the oscillator it goes to um, the end amplifier which is this nice little golden box. It has uh, a fan from a PC processor uh, to cool the heatsink and uh, behind this cable here. You can see here that's the uh, TDA2020 or I think I used the TDA1006. It's a hi-fi amplifier but working up to 140 kilohertz. So just perfect for the 77.5 kilohertz I want to, to amplify and um, well important maybe to know is uh, it's um, driven by single power supply only, which of course means that, that you have to block the DC part of the output signal and, and that's just made by, the, by this uh, big uh, capacitor. And then from, from this pin here, it goes to the next module, which is this one. So you see three little chambers here uh, containing each a coil and, and uh, some capacitors. Uh, actually that's the, the P harmonic filter. The, the first part is to uh, match the, the impedance of the output amplifier from 4 ohm to 50 ohm and then the second and the third actually are the, 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 the P filters uh, for the harmonic um, suppression. So, like this. And um, always the boxes are uh, homemade, just uh, cut uh, and, and soldered together uh, pieces of, of uh, copper board. Okay, and then uh, the next part is the, the microcontroller board. It contains an, an uh, Atmel 80 Mega 16 and the uh, back side looks like this. It's just a, a NAND, NAND gate uh, in the right uh, lower corner. Um, you have the, the connectors here for the LC display for the, the buttons and uh, the rotary encoder and uh, for the LEDs, reset button, uh, the, the contrast of, of the LC display and then this input here is for the AC, uh, AD, uh, AD uh, converter, analog digital uh, converter used for the for the self-test uh, checking whether the power supply is within the loud ranges and uh, whether the uh, the output uh, RF 
power is, is fine. Okay, and then last but not least, the final part is um, the uh, the power supply of the of the time manipulator. The big one here is for the 24 volt. The little one here is for the for the 5 volt uh, used for electronic. Um, and then here you have the two voltage regulators, a 24 volt 2 amp type and a 5 volt 2 amp type. And uh, here again uh, a heatsink, which is actually cooled by by this little fan here. So the, the air goes from from the inside of the box, uh, blowing to the to the outside and uh, cooling the the whole uh, inner part of of the time manipulator, including the the air. You know, as I showed you, uh, coming from from the, the end amplifier and uh, every other pass which uh, might get uh, a little bit hot. So um, yeah, actually th that that's it. Uh, what you have not seen is the front panel now, but well, you have seen in the main video. Um, if you have questions, like always, you can uh, drop me an email or you can uh, go to my website where I have described all the, the single modules uh, quite in, in detail. Okay, thanks.